Hello everyone. Welcome to Interpretation of Topographical Map Part 8. I am Vidyamala and in this video I am going to teach you how to measure the distance between places in a topographical map. Now there are two ways of calculating distance. One is called direct distance that is measuring a distance along a straight line or we call it as a measuring the distance as a crow flies. So in the exam Whenever you are asked to measure the distance along a straight line or when they mention the word distance as a crow flies from one place to another place, then it means you have to calculate the direct distance. And whenever you are asked to measure the distance of a curved line such as the length of a road or length of a canal or the length of a river or a stream, then it means it is indirect distance. And for distance related problem in our exam, Remember, always distance is measured either in meters or kilometers or kilometers and meters. So, let's see an example on direct distance. So, here they are asking you to measure the distance between the spot height 286 and spot height 538. So, first let me teach you the actual method. So, here is our spot height 286 and here is our spot height 538. We need to measure the distance between these two places and for the actual method we should not use this ruler we should use only the map scale. So first step 1 write the statement 2 cm on the map is equal to 1 km on the ground. This can be seen in the map scale. See 2 cm to 1 km. This map scale is available only in the board exam maps. Uh, some of your workbooks they don't provide you with the scale. Okay. So step 2, take a divider, okay, I hope you know what is a divider, this is a divider. So take a divider and keep the two endpoints on these dots and measure it accurately, okay. Now do not change this measurement, take it to our map scale, okay, so this is our map scale. See, these are the primary divisions, it starts from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So first keep on this primary division 0. So as you can see, it is between 2 and 3. So I have to consider the secondary divisions. See, I have numbered the secondary divisions from 0 to 10 this side. Okay, now I know that uh, the measurement is more than 2 km. So what I am doing is, I am placing one end of my divider in 2. And then... I am looking at the secondary divisions. See, the secondary division is between 7 and 8. So, when it is between 7 and 8, we have to consider that as 750 meters. You see there, the secondary divisions, it is given in meters there. So, our answer is 2 kilometers 750 meters. But in the question, when it is asked in kilometers, you have to write as 2.75 kilometer. Now let me teach you how to do this problem using the shortcut method. So now take a ruler, okay, and measure the distance in centimeter directly from the spot A286 to the spot A538. So I am getting exactly 5.5. Can you see? It is exactly 5.5. We know that the scale of map is 2 cm is equal to 1 km. So, in order to get the answer in kilometers, we have to divide 5.5 by 2. So, the answer is 2.75 km. So, whichever method you do, no problem. The answer will always be same. Let's have a recap on what I taught you just now. Step 1, first write the statement 2 cm on the map is equal to 1 km on the ground. Then step 2, using divider, you can measure the distance between 286 and 538 and then you can keep the divider on the map scale and measure the distance and directly write it in kilometers and meters. Or you can use a shortcut method that is you can directly use a scale and you measure the distance in centimeter between spot height 286 and spot height 538. So the answer is 5.5 centimeter. We have to divide the answer by 2 because we got the answer in centimeter we know the map scale is 2 centimeter on the map is equal to 1 kilometer on the ground so divided by 2 you will get 2.75 kilometer personally i feel the shortcut method is much more accurate and easy for the students to do 
Now in the exam, instead of asking us write the answer in kilometer, when you are asked to write the answer in meter, what should you do? In order to convert kilometer to meter, you multiply the answer by thousand. That is two point seven five into thousand. So the answer is two thousand seven hundred and fifty meter. Or what if the question is asked in kilometer and meter? What will you do? You should write as two kilometer and seven hundred and fifty meters. Okay. Now second example. What is the direct distance between settlement Karja and settlement Karja Mota? Now earlier problem as it was a spot height, it was very easy for us to calculate. Now they are asking from settlement to settlement. You see these settlements are huge, and we need to measure from the center of these settlements. So now how to find the center of the settlement? Now step one, as usual, write the scale. Two centimeter on map is equal to one kilometer on the ground. Step two. we have to draw a square enclosing all the buildings in the settlement for both karja and karja mota then you draw a diagonal in between these squares in order to find the center now from this center to center you can either use the divider and scale, map scale method or you can use the shortcut method directly take a scale and you measure the distance between the center to center and divide it by 2 so say for example i am getting 8.3 cm so i am dividing it by 2 my answer is 4.15 km this 8.3 cm that i have given here is not the actual distance between them i did not measure uh, so if you have a map of g43 s7 with the eastings 43 and northing 93 if you have that map you can measure the distance between them and you let me know in the comment box now let's move on to indirect distance like i told they will usually ask you to measure the length of a road or a length of a canal or a stream like that so the problem is to measure the distance in kilometer between the metal road from the national highway in this grid up to this post office okay so whenever indirect distance is asked use a twine or a thread like this so keep one edge of the twine on this road connecting the post office and slowly move your finger little by little keep it on the road and measure without moving the thread so this is the point where the metal road is touching this national highway so i am keeping a dot here okay so you can either take this to the map scale available at the bottom of your map and measure or you can use the scale which is very very easy i'm going to use scale only so i'm going to keep this directly on my scale and measure how much centimeter i am getting okay so i am getting 4.9 cm i think you can't see the dot clearly this is the dot so i'm getting 4.9 cm divided by 2 If you wish to check the answer in this map scale, see, this is my dot. I am keeping the dot on this two, and you see the thread is between four and five. So the answer is two point four five kilometer. If you check the last ten years question paper, many a times they have asked you to measure the distance between the distant stone and a causeway. So when they ask you to measure from the distant stone, you see these numbers here. Two twenty eight, two twenty nine, two thirty, two thirty one along the national highway. These are called distance stones. So you see this number along with the red color dash here. So say for example, if they are asking you to measure from this distance stone, so this is the point you will use for calculating the distance. And when you are asked to measure from a causeway, see, we have a word causeway here and. we know that a causeway is a raised road across a minor stream so this black color is a minor stream and this yellow color is a metal road 
so the place where this road and the stream is intersecting this dot is exactly from where you have to measure i measure the length of the dry stream from the causeway till where it touches the nh168 so i will keep my twine here and i will measure it along this dry stream and i will measure till the point where it is touching the national highway and if you are going to use scale then you have to keep your twine on the scale and measure in centimeters and divide the answer by 2 or if you are directly using the map scale then there is no need to divide by 2 directly you can write the answer in kilometers and meters now let's have a recap on how to do indirect distance step by step so see this problem what is the distance in kilometer between the causeway in karunthi and the distance stone 240 along the metal road so step 1 write the statement 2 cm on the map equal to 1 km on the ground step 2 take a twine and keep one point on the causeway i think you know where is the causeway it is a place where the metal road intersects with the dry stream and keep measuring along this metal road and when you see the distance stone the red color line on the distance stone you take a pencil or a pen and you mark a dot in your twine now step 3 if you want to use the map scale you can measure this directly using the map scale and write the answer in kilometers and meters or you can take this to your ruler measure it in centimeter and divide the answer by 2 and write the answer in kilometers now just like the area problem in distance problem also units is very important if you forget to write the unit you will get zero or instead of kilometer if you write as meters also you will get zero so very very important when you write the answer make sure that you write the correct units now for this problem also i have just given an example as 4.2 cm but this is not the correct answer so if you have the map g43 s10 look near easting 53 and northing 23 you can see this karunthi causeway as well as the distance stone 240 measure the distance and let me know in the comment box now here are some extra questions for you that were asked during board exam earlier what is the total distance from the north to the south of the given topographical map we know that for our board exam we are given a topographical map that has 10 squares from north to south and 10 squares from east to west so from north to south they are asking you the total distance we know that each square is 2 cm and the scale of the map is 2 cm is equal to 1 km so totally these 10 squares are 10 km so that is the answer what is the total distance from north to south 10 km now children units is very important whatever difficulty you have undertaken and you have written the answer correctly it is of no use if you do not write the unit in question if you were to cycle at 10 km per hour how much time would it take to cover the north south distance depicted on this map extract now from the previous problem we already know the north south distance as it is having 10 squares it is 10 km so we are traveling in cycle at 10 km per hour so in how many hours will you travel 1 hour right so this was a board exam question earlier so i hope you are thorough with the concept now so keep practicing more and more exercises do like and share this video and you can always contact me through the comment section if you have further doubts and do not forget to subscribe to my channel see you in my next video until then bye bye